don't know. Magic Johnson doesn't strike me as a liar, bro. He doesn't strike me as somebody who would like. That's the reason. He's, he's saying very this is the reason why I love. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, there's and- anything we know about Magic Johnson is that he'll tell the truth about some shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't see why Palinka didn't just be like, hey, man. If I was him, I'd just be like, hey, listen, like. Matt Johnson has my phone number. If he felt some way about, you know, the way he left or the way he felt like he should leave the organization, he could have called me. He didn't have to go on first take in ESPN and do all that other shit. That's what Andrew's I would Andrew's smiling said. like he got juice, though. What's the juice? I don't know. I don't know if he does. Rob Polinka is a pathological liar. Mm-hmm. This is known. You mean a sports agent is a pathological liar? Well, I'm glad you pointed that out. So he, no way. he is a pathological liar. This is known in NBA circles. Mm-hmm. Everybody in the league will attest to this. Mm-hmm. Now, people don't have access to Palinka, so the people know what they see. He is he is um, exactly what you want the face of your organization to look like in many ways. Polished, mm-hmm. charming, authentic, handsome enough. Mm-hmm. Looks like, looks like, like Rob, Rob Lowe. Lowe. Yeah, he looks, looks, like, looks like, like Rob Lowe. Lowe and the coach of the Celtics. <laughs> yeah. Brad Stevens, right? He's the third brother, the middle brother. Yeah. So, like, so, but... He basically, if Magic's even looking at him, he don't trust that motherfucker. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. So, so, uh, but he is a pathological liar, which means he will say anything to anybody in any moment to get whatever intended reaction he wants. So, mm. when he's going around bad mouthing Magic, he doesn't even realize he's doing it. Mm. We're talking about a, a true sociopath. Now, you brought up the agency. Mm-hmm. He literally lied and stole. From his old agency to create his his agency, right? Mm -hmm. So Hmm. within the agent sphere, and you know, I go through this with stand-up agents all the time. Like an agent will like me, she'll be schmoozing, she'll just be, or he'll be say right to my face, like, I want to take you from your from your agent. How do I take you from your agent? What can I do? Straight Mm -hmm. to my face. Yeah. And then shake my agent's hand. A minute later. And that agent knows exactly what the game and is. And they know exactly what the Word? game is. Oh, dude, this ha- the sec- dude, the second I was off Rogan, every agency. Oh, yeah. Oh, you were the there. You were yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, like, <laughs> so this is how the agency world works, mm-hmm. right? One of the reasons I'm with my agent right now is because I think he might be, like, one of the only people who isn't mm-hmm. in that way. Uh, Shouts to TJ. But um, so this guy is pathological with it. He's existed within these L.A. sports circles and saying these lies. And it's just like sitting down, oh, yeah, you know, Magic's never here. It's just conversation yeah, to them. Right. He's just spewing. He doesn't even realize he's doing that. Son, I like was with just... some agents, right? Yeah. Part of my agency. Not my agent, but part of my agency. And they were telling me about how dumb actors are. <laughs> and I'm like, do you not realize that you represent me? Yeah. If you're willing to speak that way about you're other yeah. people you represent. You're definitely saying that about me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. But this is the type of person that Palinka is. Mm-hmm. So... How he ascends to the top of an industry is quite curious. Obviously, you have the Kobe Bryant cosign. Yep. And there is so much to this business about looking the part and being the part. Mm-hmm. And he is the epitome in a lot of ways of looking the part, being the part, and then being associated with greatness. Well, shit, if he finagled his way up into the fucking Laker front office, I'm assuming, you know, I mean, he probably did some sneaky shit to get up there. You know what I'm saying? Some like, little finger just, shit. It's just yeah. already pretty He's little fucking finger. sneaky. He's yeah, little yeah, finger. Yeah, like, I can see that. But this is the problem with the organization. Mm. If you want to pinpoint, like with the Knicks, the problem is Dolan. Mm. If you want to pinpoint a problem, it's Palenka. It's yeah, this guy yeah, right here. And you know what? Uh, we say this a lot in this podcast. LeVar Ball was right. You Yet posted again. a great a great clip. LeVar Ball was right. He was now on, was that an old clip? No, nah, it was it was an old clip. He said this in the uh, in the beginning in the middle of the season this yeah. year. He was on Undisputed with Skip and uh, Shannon, and uh, he was basically saying like, you know, I don't think this is when Lonzo wasn't getting that much playing time, and like LeVar Ball like emerged from the shadows and was like, oh, here he comes again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But everything he said, Magic pretty much, you know. So it's pretty much true. Like he was like, "Yo, like I like Magic, but like he just kind of seems like a face. Like I don't think he's calling the shots." He's like, "Honestly, I don't even know who's calling the shots over there." And like, if you could tell by this off season, like that's pretty much on the money. You know what I mean? Like Magic was there because he's Mister Laker, and it, it's a nice face to put on mm-hmm. when you got an organization that hasn't been the best in the past couple of years or whatever. You bring Magic on. You smile for a few people, and then like when Lavar is trying to talk to Magic on some like, mm-hmm. hey, you know, let's you know, let's what, what are we figuring this shit out? And then like, nothing's happening because mm. he's not the guy that's really in charge. So now you go, I, well, you're not the person I need to talk. to. Exactly, and Ma- and for that to be Magic Johnson, and you know, if Genie Bus is telling him like, hey, you get to do this, you get to call the shots, you get right. the finals. The thing that he said on first take what today was, um, I was told that the final, the 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 ball stops with me. 
You know what I'm saying? I make the final say on everything. Magic Johnson. Magic. Yes. Yeah. And that's what And when he didn't get to make that with Luke, with Luke firing Luke Walton, which he right. wanted to do. He wanted to fire the Lakers that. coach, Luke Walton, yeah. mm. and which they end up doing anyway. But he wasn't able to do it when he said. Right. Um, there was a moment in, and this is a little bit off, but I want to get back to it. Mm -hmm. But there was a moment in the end of this interview. If you watch the end of the interview, mm -hmm. and you will see why Magic is a billionaire in the business world. 